Welcome back to my YouTube channel, OC, your Louise Romantic Home, and I am over the moon, excited to take you guys along with me as I decorate my Christmas tree in my living room. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to share this one with you guys. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys step by step with me as we add deco mesh, ribbons, ornaments. I'm gonna give you so many of my tips and tricks. I am definitely not a pro, but I have done many Christmas trees over the years in so many different styles. So I'm gonna leave my I Love Christmas series playlist down below for you. And this season, we're actually on, I believe episode 18, it might be even 19 in my I Love Christmas series. I love to share with you guys how you can make your homes boutique gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget. Listen, y'all don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. So go ahead and grab some coffee, hot cocoa, all the ribbons you have, all the ornaments you have, and let's get to decorating. My first tip is to add some twinkling fairy lights. I love these copper fairy lights. They plug directly into the wall. They have several different settings and they come on a remote control. So that makes them amazing. I'll link some in my Amazon store. They're super inexpensive and they'll really jazz up your holiday. Okay, so I'm turning the twinkle lights on. They're kind of subtle but the tree is gonna be a lot more sparkly and I'm gonna link some in my Amazon store. It's just going to make your tree be that much more fun and fabulous. Now we are going to add some deco mesh and these do come on a timer. I love these. I'm gonna add some to my garland, but I do want to have Mr. Romantic hide the cord on my TV first. So before I put all those twinkle lights, we're gonna work on the garland on um, in the next video. So look forward to that, but now it's time to add my deco mesh, and I actually found this deco mesh at Dollar Tree. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, you guys, I have completely scared Puffy, Benji Bear, my little puppy dog, by all my shenanigans with the Christmas tree. This is probably one of the best finds I have ever found at my Dollar Tree, and I actually found this this summer. It's a 21 inch deco mesh from Dollar Tree. I love deco mesh. I love to put it into my tree, and I'm going to push it into my tree and and then just take the tree branches and cross them over on themselves. It's really going to fill in the Christmas tree and just make it that much more magical. This step is obviously optional, um, but I do love a really full tree. So I'm gonna share with you guys how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna kind of do it a little bit of a crisscross pattern. Deco mesh is very forgiving, so don't get nervous. Just go for it and have fun with it. Again, this is obviously optional. Now I'm going to start at the top of my Christmas tree and I'm just going to take the deco mesh and kind of push it in to my tree and then take the branch and cross it over on it and then I'm just going to pull it out and push it back into the tree and again find another kind of set of branches where I can kind of just push it in and loop it over on itself. So for my Christmas tree, I actually found this Christmas tree at Hobby Lobby. It is a seven and a half foot flocked Christmas tree. My last Christmas tree was from the thrift store and when we pulled it down from the attic, it had seen better days. So we decided to go ahead and replace it and I am in love with this tree. Now I'm taking my Dollar Tree Deco mesh and I'm just kind of cascading it down the front of the tree. And you can see I changed my mind and I decided to just go ahead and cascade it in kind of a waterfall effect instead of um, zigzagging it like I did last year. And I changed my mind again and decided to do red deco mesh and then alternate it with the white deco mesh. I went with a candy stripe theme for my Christmas tree this year. This was a larger tree than what I did last year and I didn't want to go out and spend a bunch of money on ornaments. So what I did was I took all of my ornaments that I had left over from last year and I grouped them together and that showed me what I had to use. And what I had the most of were my candy candy striped ornaments. Last year, 
I hit the jackpot at the end of the season and I found a bunch of candy stripe ornaments at the thrift store. And I had kind of been picking some up here and there because I knew I wanted to do candy stripe in my kitchen. So a long story short, I had a bunch of candy stripe ornaments. So these are actually from the thrift store and then I had also gathered some from an estate sale. A lot of them I believe came from Walmart and then um, the thrift store. So um, check your local Walmart, check your Hobby Lobby just for the candy striped ornament and then so you can see that I have the red deco mesh and then the white deco mesh and deco mesh is really pretty forgiving so you're going to kind of pull these poofs out and they're about 10 to 12 inch poofs and you're going to kind of push them into the tree. Now the next step for me is to add these little cute candy cane elf legs and again these did come from an estate sale. We have like an antique store down the road from us and it's just every weekend they have like what they call an estate sale. It's not really a garage sale because it is an antique shop but they call it an estate sale. So now I'm adding in these pretty little picks and these are really pretty like plumes. They're very sparkling and they're absolutely beautiful beautiful. They're so sweet. They gave me a deal on just a pile of goodies. They do a lot of florals at this estate um, sale. And so I was able to get a really good deal and I really don't ever use these kind of picks. So I was really excited. You guys will have to let me know what you think about this, but the sprays, I just kind of spread apart and tried to do them somewhat evenly. And it does look kind of crazy as you're going along and building, but I do like to build my topper first and it then kind of build out from there. Now these pretty sparkling greenery, um, again, I want to try to build up my elf legs over here and I am going to add more and pull those legs in just a bit um, and so um, I did add, end up adding four of these green little picks but when you're adding greenery to the top try to think about height and also dimensions you want to add things that are going to give your eye something to look at now this bow I actually created last year and to store my bows I just push pin them to my little crafting closet so that will keep your bows nice and fluffy now speaking of fluffy bows I'm going to share with you guys how to make this DIY Olivia bow no tools required you're going to take this beautiful ribbon from Michaels and you're going to take it and you're going to make a 12 inch loop and you're going to take and loop the ribbon over on itself this is so easy you loop the ribbon over on itself and I will tell you that this ribbon is wired make sure that your ribbon is wired when you're making a tree topper bow so you're going to loop the ribbon over on itself six times and you can see that I'm counting the ribbon to make sure that I get it about six times or three loops on each side. Now I'm going to trim it off and then find my center and then once I find my center um, I'm going to take and I'm going to cut itty bitty tiny notches. Now make sure that this part that you just cut little bitty tiny notches. You don't want to cut too far into your ribbon because then it could really easily fall apart on you. The reason you cut your notches is because you want your pipe cleaner or your wire to have something to grip onto when you pull your loops out. The next ribbon I'm gonna use is just some plain sheer ribbon here. Okay, so again, I'm going to take it and loop the ribbon on over on itself, but this time I'm gonna go two inches bigger. Again, I'm gonna do six inch loops, so you just take it and loop it over on itself again. So this is so super easy. Anybody can do this. You guys can totally do this. So take the ribbon, loop it over on itself until you get six loops here. Count them if you need to. Take it, find your center, cut itty bitty tiny notches, just super, super tiny notches here. Don't cut too far because you don't want your uh, bow to fall apart. And then again, you're going to do the same process here, but you're going to go all the way out to almost 16 inches. You want a super, super, super huge bow for your tree topper. Now I'm doing a really, really, really large tree here. So you may want to do this to size. So if you have a smaller tree, you may want to go a little bit smaller. Measure your tree to fit the size of your bow. Okay, again, we're going to go six loops over here. So same process. And then you're just doing two inches until you get to the very um this is the very biggest loop. So this loop is going to go in the back of your bow. 
and then you guys can go ahead and find your center again. Here we go, we're counting, make sure we've got those six loops, find your center, and then cut those little baby notches, itty bitty tiny notches. Again, you don't want to cut too far because you don't want your ribbon to fall apart. Okay, and the other thing is, you guys keep in mind that you can use any ribbon. So you don't have to do the candy cane theme. This is just my theme that I'm going with for my tree. Think about champagne and gold and blue or pink or purple or glam. You know, whatever you guys love, go for it. Have fun. Get creative. Okay, I'm going to use wire here, but a lot of times I really do use pipe cleaner for my bows. Now, the next thing you guys want to do is make some tails. So I'm just going to pull out some really pretty long tails here. Cut them off. And again, you guys go for whatever size tails you want. I'm gonna take and dovetail my ends by cutting a triangle in an upwards direction. This is really a pretty nice thing to do. It's gonna give it that pretty boutique finish, which is something you're gonna to wanna to do, especially if you're selling your um, pretty bows. Now find your center and then just kind of pinch them together here. And then you can take and marry your bow, that means add your bow in and now you've got some really beautiful tails. A bow this large in a boutique store or even at your craft store is going to be a lot of money. So here you go. And just for the cost of your ribbon, which really is not that much right now during the holidays when all your ribbon is 50% off at Michael's, is not going to be that much you guys and you're going to have quite a bit left over. You can see over here now fluff those bows baby make me proud fluff out your bow so you can see i'm really going to fluff and then twist those loops that's really going to give you a nice full fluffy bow so i fluff my bow after i get done making my bow and then once i get it on my actual tree or wreath or garland these can go anywhere now i made two of these bows I'm going to put one in the front part of my tree and then one in the back part of my tree. That way I have um, a tree topper in the front and then it's going to go all the way around to the back. And there you guys have it, a gorgeous tree topper bow for next to nothing. I can't wait to see the tree topper bows you guys are going to be making. I did buy this ribbon at Michael's, but you can also find it at Hobby Lobby. Very similar. Now I've attached my beautiful bow to the top of my tree and it's time for a good fluffing. I think it's looking really fabulous. And here is Benji Bear. He is my trusty assistant and I trust me, he got into so much today, including part of a cup of coffee. Oh my goodness. I mean, he is a wild and crazy dog. I, if, if we had a camera to follow him around, he could probably have his own show, you guys. The shenanigans that he gets into, be my little assistant, I'm telling you what. But he's been the creative director. So here is my pile of ornaments, um, some Dollar Tree, some thrift store, uh, Goodwill, um, some Walmart. I just pick them up along the way and by the time season hits, I'm telling you guys, I have quite the collection. So that's one of my other little tips for you guys is to kind of have a little running theme in your head. And then when you're out and about at garage sales and thrift stores, you can begin to kind of collect as you go. And especially with the candy cane theme, I always know I'm probably gonna do my Christmas kitchen in the candy cane theme. And so then I can always be collecting that little theme. But I've used a lot, so I may be a little bit short on some of my candy cane ornaments this year. But this tree is looking oh so fun and fabulous. And it seems to have a life of its own as it's wiggling around. Now, I will tell you also, Oh my goodness, this has just been such a learning experience for me because I realized I probably need some more jumbo ornaments. I used a lot of my jumbo ornaments out in my studio tree. So if you guys are doing like a buffalo check with some Mackenzie Childs theme, you may want to go back and check out how I did my studio tree. I used a lot of buffalo check in that tree. And you guys can see that I'm looking into my camera as I'm decorating. I'm kind of squinting. I actually just ordered some new glasses 
Um, but I'm looking to see how it looks in the camera because a lot of times things look differently in the camera than they do when you're decorating up close. You kind of have to take a step back. That's another tip I have for you. As you're decorating, you definitely want to pop back and take a step back and then look and take a step back. Now, I love this mug from Dollar Tree. It says, don't get your tinsel in a tangle. And this is probably the best mug I've had so far this season. It really applies to pretty much everything. The next bow I want to make are some smaller bows for my tree. So this year, instead of using a lot of ribboning on my tree, I have been doing that in a lot of my trees. I decided to use more bows. So I'm going to use my easy bow maker and I'm just to make a super easy bow. And I'm telling you, this is an easy bow maker. You guys can find these on Deco Exchange, Amazon, Michaels, wherever you guys want to buy them is awesome. I'm going to start out with some of this candy cane ribbon. This is from Michaels. I believe it might even be left over from last season. This Hobby Lobby ribbon is pretty puny, but it's really inexpensive. So I'm going to tell you that the quality is pretty poor. I get a little frustrated with it, but <laughs> the price is super cheap and there's tons of it. So there's a caveat, you know, there's a trade off with it. Okay, so I'm just going to add a layer of the stronger candy cane theme and then the lighter one. And I did kind of like this white um, can or this white, it had like a little bit of just a red stripe around it. I felt like it kind of neutralized some of the red and white stripes just a little bit. So I added two layers of that. It's also 75 foot and it's very stiff. So I kind of liked how it stood up with the bows. Again, the quality is not quite so great, but I liked how it was stiff. And so that held up really nicely. You always want to look for wired ribbon when you're making your bows. That's just a little tip from me to you. So I made a ton of these for my tree. Again, I decided not to do the wild ribboning like I did. Now I did do a lot of ribboning on my studio tree and I still will probably do ribboning on some of my other trees. I do have some smaller trees to kind of fill out some little corner spots in my home. And um, so I may do some ribboning on those, but for my large tree, I decided just to go bow crazy. You guys know me. I love big bows and I cannot lie. I think we need to do a t-shirt that says that. Wouldn't that be kind of fun? So anyway, I made a ton of these bows and I actually need to go back to the store for more ribbon because the back of my tree, do you guys always decorate the back of your tree? It seems like the back of my tree never quite gets all the way decorated. So I made probably about six to eight of these bows and this tree was so huge. I feel like I need to probably make like six to ten more to fill out the back but then I never end up decorating the whole back of my tree and I don't know if anybody looks at the back of their Christmas tree you know it just kind of is that spot so let me know do you guys decorate the back of your Christmas tree does it really matter I don't know maybe it doesn't matter maybe I don't need to go back for more ribbon and maybe I just need to save that money and buy somebody a nice gift or not worry about it <laughs> I don't know. Comment and let me know if you're team back of the Christmas tree or you don't worry about it. Here's how I'm using some of those Dollar Tree bows. They're red bows. They're already done. I think they're a great little cheat to use in your Christmas trees, in your garlands. I'm going to use them in my Christmas kitchen. They're already done and I think they're super adorable. Um, so you just pop them into your tree. They're a great filler. It's one of my little tips and tricks. So there you guys have that. And there he is, Santa Paws, Benji Bear, Puffer Pants, you name it, the star of the show. He has his Santa outfit on and he is ready to say hello. He has been on Santa's nice list or mom's naughty list. I'm not for sure. No, I'm not. He's on mom's nice list. I don't know. He did get into a lot of stuff today. And Mr. Romantic was feeding him treats. And so one popped back behind the Noel sign. But look at what a good boy he was. He only partially knocked over the sign and then he backed away. I think he got afraid, <laughs> which that might be a good thing. I'm wondering though, hopefully he doesn't go for my little DIY gnome. Can you guys see all the little Dollar Tree DIYs we've been doing? They're so fun. This is why I start doing DIYs early because I have to have stuff to decorate with. 
So anyway, as always, you guys comment and let me know what was your favorite tip or trick? What are you guys going to be doing for your Christmas theme this year? I love to hear what you guys are up to. What do you guys think about my wild and over the top crazy Christmas tree topper candy cane theme? Also, I wanted to let you guys know that I did get my um, mantle from Walmart. I'll try to link it, I guess. I don't really know how to link Walmart things, but it was a little splurge. We had an anniversary and a birthday combination thing combined. Mr. Romantic ripped out all of the old carpets in our home and it was a long time coming. I had no idea what was underneath those carpets, but I'm really, really thankful that we replaced those. So now you guys get to see the big reveal of our new flooring, and I'm really excited. And how gorgeous are these twinkle lights twinkling away with our pretty little Christmas tree. Super excited. And there's those Dollar Tree DIYs, that little candy gingerbread box. You guys are gonna have to go check out the rest of the I Love Christmas series, especially if you're new here to my channel. I share so many DIYs with you guys on a budget. And check out that little Christmas tree um, theme. It looks like there's like really a window around my TV, but there's really not. It's really a neat little, um, they have those Christmas tree, you know, snowy themes. You just Google or you go on YouTube and you look up different snowy scenes. So go to YouTube and type in snow scenes and there's so many different options to choose from. So anyway, what do you guys think about this Christmas tree? My daughter loved it. She came home and she was like, mom, this is what we need in this day and age. And I'm like, yes, she's a teenager and she's so insightful and wonderful. And that's what I wanted. I just wanted us to come home and feel happy. And my mom and my little niece are in town. In fact, they moved back. And so she's five and I wanted her to come to my house and be like, feel like Santa Claus is coming to town and her to come over and say, oh, Aunt Livy. So anyway, this is kind of just a happy tribute to everybody and, um, you know, home for the holidays when the kiddos come home from college and I just want everybody to feel all the cozy and happy vibes and all that good stuff. So anyway, I love y'all. Thank you guys for being here and I'm hugging your hearts and I'm wishing you blessings and joy and Merry Christmas and I hope you guys got some inspiration from this happy little tree. I can't wait to share with you guys how we're going to do this garland. And I do need to put some pictures kind of back on my walls. Um, I've been kind of trying to hunt the thrift stores for some unique pieces and even shop around a little bit. But you guys know I really kind of like do some DIYs. So I'm trying to find some things or dream up some things that I think might be unique and kind of cool and different things like that. So anyway, I love y'all and I thank you guys for being here and check my social medias for the announcements on those Amazon gift card um, winners. And um, I'm just thankful and blessed to have you guys here. fabulous crafty decor adventure definitely come back because we're going to be decorating my mantle my kitchen my entryway outside my home i'm going to share with you guys so many more diys and budget-friendly ways that you guys can fluff up your home and fluff up yourselves and bake and just get ready for the holidays and make it the best year ever if you guys are new welcome i'm olivia with olivia's romantic home i'm a diy crafty mama and i love to share with you guys how you can make your homes boutique gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget. Definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel. And um, also I would love to invite you guys over to my Livia's Romantic Home Facebook page. I post DIYs over there as well as I have a free little group page. It's a fun little community that you guys can plug into. Um, it's totally free and you guys can post photos of your home decor and DIY projects. Everybody over there is really kind and uplifting. And I just want to thank you guys and encourage you. I know everybody is 
at a different spot in their crafting and decorating journey. So just keep up the good work and keep posting kind comments for one another. Um, I really feel like crafting and decorating is so good for your heart and soul. I know it gets me through so many tough times and it's just a really healing thing for me as well. So thank you guys again. Keep up the good work crafting and decorating and I cannot wait for the next video. This mantle back here, I have got to get some lights on it. I've got to get some pretty bows on it and I've got to get those cords covered. <laughs> so I love y'all to the moon and back. I'm hugging all of your hearts so tight. Remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. And until the next video, we will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.